there is so much passion, there's so much honor. In, in a way, I really haven't accepted being a part of the family. I think there's so much prestige and so much accomplishment within Porsche on the road and in the racetrack that I work every day to maybe be a, a family member one day. To carry the badge, especially for the U.S., and to meet all of the club members out there that own cars, that go to the racetrack uh, time and time again, when you see familiar faces, it's a huge, huge working network. When you look at motorsport and the history and the success that Porsche's had over the last six years, you look at the DNA of our company and how much of what we put on the road has been bred on the racetrack, that's a religion that we all share and it's a, a love and, and what else would you rather do than spend value time traveling the world with people that share a common, a common ground and a common love. If you think back, this car raced 40 years ago, and how good it is today, Specs. You see where Porsche was really carving the way in sports car racing, about being small, lightweight, efficient, agile. Um, things that we still try to do this day and age against our competition on the racetrack. You can watch video, you can look at pictures, but to get in that car, you, you, you feel what they feel. You see how hard they had to drive. Every time I get into a new race car or a new road car like the Turbo S, it's cool. It's like going into a, a new hotel room. You've been to many hotels, but this one might have something that's just a little bit better here or a little bit different there. And so every time I get a chance to jump into an historic 911 or the latest 911 on the road, uh, it's a great opportunity, but it's a lot of fun. You know, getting into something like a Turbo S is, is to me as much a race car as it is a road car. The launch control system, the way that you can set up the suspension with the PASM, uh, these are things that really make you have to remind yourself that you're not on a racetrack. In saying that, uh, having a car with that much handling and power at your disposal is that same awesome narcissistic control freak man that you know gets into a race car and get into one of those cars and, and do what, exactly what you want, how you want to do it. To continue to see the evolution of the product, I always wonder when they're going to stop because how can you make uh, the last generation of a 997 Turbo better? Well, they showed me with Generation 2. Now they've showed me with the Turbo S. The other part of it is like driving the GT3R Hybrid. When you have a strategy of using the paddles and deciding when to use the charge, same thing. Now you've got a carbureted engine. So you've got to be masterful in your blips and your downshifts. You've got to be that much more precise with the old, worn out H pattern gearbox, that type of stuff I love because it's an equalizer. Not everybody can get into those cars and drive them. If you see what we're doing, we're pushing the hybrid into different platforms, making it a race car, making it a supercar. There's so much refinement that's gone on in such a short amount of time from Vysok that it's mind blowing to me, but it's also confidence inspiring. I know the next things that we're gonna put out racing wise are gonna be as developed uh, as this GT3R hybrid. Um, so I'm excited to see what else is around the corner.